بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد رسول الله I begin with the name of Allah All praise belongs to Allah May peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad For he is the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Fa'il pattern Interesting one You don't see this too often But you see it once in a while Before we get into what it means Look at the sound Fa'il Fa'il It's very short It's two vowels The fa letter takes the fatha and the ayin letter, the second letter, takes a kasra. It's very short. Fa'il. In comparison to fa'il, maf'ul, fa'il, fa'ul, and so on and so forth. Fa'il is very short. And it's used when there's a description that's very noticeable. Almost like when you see it, you don't really have to think twice. You see it, you immediately know what you're seeing. It's very reactionary. So, for example, najusa. Najusa means he, usually it, referring to an object. It was filthy, contaminated by an impurity. For example, if something falls into urine or feces or vomit, this would be called najusa. It became filthy. Now, when you see something that's filthy, like urine or feces, what's your reaction? It's usually very strong. It's filth. And so that's why we get najis. means something that's filthy, impure, dirty. Again, when you see feces on the floor, you get an immediate reaction. It's very noticeable. It has a strong reaction. You don't have to think twice about what you're seeing. And you'll see that many of the words on this pattern are like that. Here you have taribe. Taribe means it was covered in dirt or dust. Tarib. Tarib means dusty. You can say dirty, but it's something that's covered in a lot of dirt. So as soon as you see an object that's full of dirt, immediately you say tarib, tarib. It doesn't take much to notice what you're seeing, and it gives a strong reaction. Immediately you know what you're looking at. That's the fa'il pattern. Another one, thalaja. Theraja means it snowed. Snow fell on the ground. If something is icy, full of snow around it, you would say thalij. Thalij. Again, very noticeable. Once you see snow on the ground, you know what you're seeing. You don't have to think twice about what you're seeing. And so it's on the fa'il pattern. And last here we have wahila. Wahila means it was Drenched in mud. It was drenched in mud. You get a very visceral reaction to these things. When something is impure, when something is covered in dirt, when something is covered in snow, when something is covered in mud, your reaction is very strong usually because it's noticeable what you're looking at. And so we get wahil. Wahil means muddy. So again, this is an amplified description, very noticeable. And it often gives a strong reaction to the observer. It falls on the fa'il pattern. Najis, tarib, thalij, wahil. Now everything we covered here, these are outward observations. This fa'il pattern is also used for emotions, usually when there's a strong emotion. So for example, mariha. Mariha means he was happy, cheerful, joyful. Everything that goes along with that. So this person was in a good mood and is very noticeable. It's a strong emotion. So you get marih. Marih means happy. Joyful. You can say jovial even. Very bubbly. Because when someone has this emotion, it's very noticeable. And so it falls on the fa'il pattern. On the opposite side of the spectrum, you get hazana. Hazana means he was sad. You can even say grieving. He was sad. That turns into hazin, which means sad, grieving. So again, when you see someone who's sad, it's immediate. You see the emotion in his face. And so it falls on the fa'il pattern. Hadira. Hadira means he was cautious. He was careful. He was wary of something. 
he was on guard, you can say. And so that turns into hadir. Hadir means cautious, wary, on guard. Again, when you see someone with this emotion, it's very noticeable. Almost like he's tense. Like, what's wrong? Something's happening. And that's why it falls on the fa'il pattern. It's a strong emotion. And it's obvious. It's very noticeable when you see it. You also have asifa. Asifa means he was regretful. He was sorry about something. Again, very strong emotion. So it turns into asif. Asif. Regretful. Sorry for doing something wrong. And lastly here, fatone. Fatone means he was sharp. Astute. Very intelligent. And this usually refers to someone who's articulate. He knows how to present an argument. He has a good comeback to things. He knows how to debate. Things like this. So when you see someone like this, your reaction is pretty strong. Like, wow, he's sharp. That's where fatin comes from. He's sharp. Astute. He knows what he's talking about. So when you see someone with this trait, it falls on the fa'il pattern. Because there's a strong emotion along with that. And it's very noticeable. That's what this fa'il pattern is for. So we have marih. Hazin, Hadir, Asif, Fatin. All of them have strong emotions. It's very noticeable. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ala sahabihi wa ala atba'ihi hatta yaman qiyamati wa salam tasliman kathira.